<clears throat> Hello. Hello. Hi. Bro, I didn't even realize it's been nine minutes since I nine minutes since I started stream. <laughs> I just kind of like sat here for like two whole minutes without doing anything. <laughs> Uh, but hi. It's really early. Good morning, everybody. Bom dia. Buenos dias. Hello. Hello, hello. Hi. We're here. It's Friday. It's a good time. I'm about to draw a really silly art today. Um. At least I think it's very silly. Um, so, I'm excited. I'm excited. I am looking to do at least one line of art today. Um, I also don't know how long I'm going to stream today. Uh, it might be a short stream like yesterday. But yeah. <gasps> Hi, Mumrick. Hello, hello. Good morning. Good morning. But yeah, hi chat. How are you? I hope you're having a good day today. Um Hands on my shoulders. Also, happy September. Um it is September today. Well it started yesterday, technically. So new subs can get up to 30% off or whatever it is. Um Though, the gifted subs isn't until the end of the month. So there you go. There you go. If you've ever wanted to convert your sub to a longer sub or to start subbing, this month is the month to do it. Trust. But yes, hello. Happy September, everyone. Wait, hold on a second. Hold on a second. <gasps> Chat, do you guys know what day today is? It's September 1st. Which means... It's Jungkook's birthday. <laughs> That's right. Today is the day. It's Jungkook's birthday. Yes! The one and only Jungkook from BTS. It's his birthday. Mm -mm. It's Jungkook's birthday today. Isn't that crazy? In in celebration to Jungkook's birthday, I'll play Jungkook's song. But I'm going to play the clean version. Sorry. We're playing the clean version because I am family friendly. <laughs> uh, I am a family friendly stream. Mm -hmm. Yep, I'm totally family friendly. And Etoile's mom, too. <laughs> that was so funny. Wait, is Etoile's mom's birthday... Um... The first? Or was he late? <laughs> I thought that was so funny when Etoile was celebrating... Um, Miku's birthday before wishing his mother a happy birthday. I thought that was hilarious. It was early? Okay, good. He was- he was on time then. <laughs> that was so funny. That was one of the funniest things I've seen. It was just so silly. <laughs> the- like- like- the sheer panic in his voice when he was all like, It's my mother's birthday. That was hilarious. Yeah, that's why I was kind of confused. Because it was just like one in the morning. <laughs> I mean, I suppose he could have texted at midnight. but But that was funny. That was really funny. 
He's just like me for real. But hello. Hello, everybody. Um, I guess I should put the art on the screen. <laughs> Boom! This is the art that we're working on today. US and PV tubers. We mentioned it yesterday, chat. We were like playing around with it yesterday, right? When we figured out that so many more people um had birthdays, you know? Had birthdays. What had birthdays? What had VTubers? Gosh, I just like I'm like reading chat while trying to speak. Um yeah. Like, you know, if you guys didn't know, some of the QSMP members has a birthday. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that crazy? Like, I've never experienced that. What What's a birthday like? Anyways, um, so we found out that <laughs> more members had VTubers than we thought. So I was originally just going to draw Jaden and Mouse. Um, but then we found out that Royer had, um, had a VTuber and we didn't, they didn't have a name, so of course it's Melissa. And then we found out that Selbit had a VTuber named Omega Lil Chan. It was it was probably one of the cursed things I've ever seen in my life. And then we found out that Rubius and Antoine had a um VTuber. And Rubius's VTuber is named Snowy. And Antoine is just Antoine with cat ears. So <laughs> This is not how Antoine looks like in real life, by the way. He remembered to put his fan on, but not to wish his mother a happy birthday. To be fair, a birthday is once a year. I, I understand forgetting or like letting it slip from your mind. A birthday is once a year. While gaming offline on a server that you can get addicted to playing on happens um, on the daily. Oh! <laughs> Freaking Tubbo kept logging in it last night. Like, even though he was supposed to sleep. <laughs> but he kept logging in late last night, which I thought was funny. Didn't Phil have a VTuber? Oh my god, I forgot Phil. Ugh. I forgot Phil. Oh my gosh. Okay, yes, I will add Phil to this. Um, I can't believe I forgot Phil. I even, like, wrote him down. I even wrote him down here. <laughs> Phil. <laughs> uh, oh, well. Where should I add him? Should he be next to Antoine or should he be next to Rubius? I think it makes more sense. Hmm. I think it makes more sense if he was next to Antoine. Oh. Mm -mm -mm. Or I can move Antoine and put Phil in between Antoine and Jaden. I think that also makes more sense. Because his VTuber has him holding a crow. Like, a crow is perched on his hand. Um, because, like, if I put him right here, the the crow's not going to be seen as much if I put him right here. The crow can be, like, in between, like, this area right here. Mm -mm -mm. I could always put it on the other hand. Eh. Chat, this is getting like a whole lot more than I thought, okay? I didn't realize how many people had VTubers, and I think that's so funny. Hmm, alright. Let's expand the canvas. Okay, let's move it this way. Just a little bit. Now I have to look up Phil's VTuber model. Okay. Phil the VTuber. But yeah. How is everybody? Is everyone doing okay? Is everyone doing okay? Is everyone having a good time? Mm -mm. Let's see. 
is this one. So I just do this and this. Here we go. I'll do this. And then I'll move this a little bit more. So I have room to just draw fill. Right. How are you? I'm... I'm kind of sleepy. I won't lie. So, like, last night I was watching... Um, what was I doing? I was watching... I was watching Foolish play the horror game and I thought it was really funny watching him play, right? I don't I don't know what it is, but whenever Foolish plays like any game, he makes it so much funnier than, <laughs> than it really is, you know what I mean? I don't know. It was so funny watching it. Like, he had a whole audience. Like, who was in the call with him? It was him, Myung, Shoto, Saikuno, Leslie, Tina, Iron Mouse, Peter, Corpse. Um, was there anybody else? I think it was those nine people in the VC watching Foolish play Parasocial, which was so funny. Yeah, I said Saikuno. But yeah, I just thought it was so funny because I think one of the funniest thing about yesterday was that the fact that Foolish, Tina, and Iron Mouse were um on the server together and then they went in VC um to to watch uh to play the horror game i thought that was so funny what did make me sad though was that leo didn't get to do the miku task but i hope foolish takes a picture of leo in front of the miku shrine anyway <gasps> speaking of which speaking of which guys 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 did you guys see did you guys see did you guys see Oops. How do a straighter? Look, look, look. So you guys saw this art that I did the other day? Do you guys see this art that I did the other day? Look! <gasps> Jaden saw it! <laughs> Jaden saw it. I was like, oh my god. I was freaking out. You guys don't understand. Jaden saw my art, liked it, and then replied to it. I was like, oh my god. I was freaking out. I was like, Jaden animations? No way. Yeah. That was crazy when I got this note of. I was all like, my art of Jaden and Richarlison as Hatsune Miku got a Jaden animation notice, and I think that's funny. I thought that was funny. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. Mm -mm 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 oh, and... Um... Oops, wrong account. I do a traitor. I got I got a Lene notice. <laughs> Lene quote retweeted this and liked it as a which is crazy. I'm like, oh, that's crazy. That's crazy. Good morning. Good morning, buenos dias, bom dia, bonjour, hello, hello. Mm -mm 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 -mm. But yeah, that was my day yesterday. 
I also got my woobles chat. So I'm making a turtle right now. 100% sure this is going to be the next museum update. Oh god. I would be really nervous if it <laughs> if it was Oh. Am I pronouncing that right? It's Bomgia, right? Yes. Okie dokie. I just wanted to make sure. Because, like, I don't want to feel like I'm mixing up, like, all of my languages. You know what I mean? Because, <laughs> like, I feel like I'm picking up, like, like phrases from like so many different languages and i'm going to mix it up like i the other day the other day i think this was like one of the funniest thought process i have ever had in my life because like in my head i was trying to repractice some japanese right because if you guys didn't know i took six years of japanese um your portuguese pronunciation is good is it <laughs> um so so in my head, I was trying, <laughs> I was trying to like filter through a different, like so many different like words, right? So I was trying to say, because like, you know how on the server they say, ah, oh, it's a joke. It's just JK, man, right? It's just a joke. So in my head, I was like, it's a joke. In Japanese, it should be like, um, Jodan, right? Jodan is like a joke, right? <laughs> so in my head, I wrote, <laughs> it's just Jodan, it's just a do Jodan. <laughs> And then, and then I remember Broma, right? Broma. And so, and so my head was all like, it's just Broma way. <laughs> I don't know why I added way, because I remember that's supposed to mean like dude or something in like Spanish, right? <laughs> and so... I don't know why, I just thought that was so funny. Like, my head was filtering through, like, like four different languages. It was terrible. Jaden's corrupted them. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to brush up on my Japanese, because I feel like I haven't used it in a long time. Yeah. I need to practice. I need to practice my Japanese. Ooh. Also, since it's September, it's the day where I will be spending a lot of money. I I actually I I canceled a lot of my subs the other week. Um uh, because I just don't watch uh the people some of the people who are always sub to so right now my only active subs is foolish and tina if we don't include my friends um i have three friends who i'm sub to and then i sub to foolish and tina and then i give my prime to bad boy halo uh, your head was all like, why should I speak in one language when I can have them all? True, true, true. Um, so, so I think I'm going to give a sub to Iron Mouse and Jaden, I think. And I'm considering, I've like, I've been like on the fence. Um, of subbing to Royer or and or Selbit. I was thinking about it because I do watch their streams <clears throat> a lot. But I don't know. I don't know. But Iron Moss and Jaden for sure. Because I've been watching them a whole lot more recently. 
<laughs> My prime is Selvitz. I love his emotes. Selvitz's emotes are pretty fun. <laughs> How I'm able to pay all my subs? Nah, same. I'm new to the Twitch teams and I feel like once I sub to one, I will go into a rabbit hole and subbing to so many. <clears throat> yeah, the 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 feeling of not having to watch ads <laughs> is kind of fun. Um but yeah. I I really like the emotes too. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Do you. Speaking of emotes, when is when is Mr. Foolish underscore gamers opening his commissions to <laughs> Do you understand Royer? No, not at all. But his his uh his expressions and emotions and just like charisma He's like very expressive. So even if I don't understand, I just I feel like I'm having a good time anyway. You know? <laughs> the vibes are there. Exactly, exactly. I love his laughing. His laughing is so contagious. Like when he laughs, I have to laugh too. I will subscribe to sell it because I always get an ad at the worst time possible. I feel that. <clears throat> have this weird glitch where I don't get ads for anyone. Sometimes uh, Twitch doesn't have like ads in your area. So maybe you're in that lucky area where Twitch doesn't have ads for you. Royer streams a lot more QSMP than Selvo, but Selva was has a better streaming schedule. Truly a dilemma. Yeah. What about French streamers? I have them open. Um, I actually don't get ads for them as often as I do to, um, um, what's it called? The Brazilians and Spanish streamers, which is interesting to me. <clears throat> bum, 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 bum. Like whenever I watch Bagheera, I get ads less times than I do in comparison to like, Selbit, for example. Like, even, even like, Fit. I get more ads for Fit than I do for others. <laughs> it's all, it's all, uh, it, like, it doesn't really matter, you know? <laughs> French Twitch don't uh, put often ads because French culture doesn't like ads. Oh. In France, having add-on is, like, a horrible thing. French Twitch culture. Oh, I see, I see. Oh, that's why. That's why... Uh, Huh, that is interesting. That is interesting. The only ones I don't understand are the French, but Bagheera and Anton lives are so chill, so cool. Yeah, I like I like chilling with um um Bagheera a lot. Bagheera has fun streams. Mm -mm -mm. Apparently September Selva will do something about his uh RPG slash game. I'm excited. Ooh. You know, I think, I think I'm going to play it when it comes out. I think I'll stream it. I'll stream me playing it. Um, uh, 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 uh. Put PowerPoint translator on her stream. Yeah, I did. I saw. That's really awesome. So like, um, I know like a lot of streamers have like a lot of like, um, translations and stuff now. So, I think that's really excited. So, you must have something in the end of the mount. I see, I see. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Antoine is very famous in uh, French, and see him on the QSMP is insane. It's so funny because, like, I knew of Antoine before the QSMP, and I didn't even realize it i love just listening to the qsmp streams even if i don't understand sometimes yeah i do that too how because he was the one who hosted the geoguesser world cup last year wasn't he i really want to see some people from the qsmp in the selva rpg i think it would be really fun if some people would play it i think i think some people who would play the rpg 
Um, if, like, you know, asked and stuff. Um. Um. But I think, I think genuinely Foolish would play it. I think he would try it out, you know? Especially to, like, support a friend. And he's expressed, like, so much excitement for, like, um, Selbit's, like, you know, like, interest in, for, like, Selbit's stuff. And so I think, I think Foolish would be, would love to play the game, you know? Dark humor that French viewer loves, yeah. Your art is so good. Much love. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. Thank you. I really appreciate it. But yeah, I knew of Antoine because last year, um, I know a bunch of GeoGuessers. Um, and I have like a bunch of GeoGuessr friends. And so I was interested in GeoGuessr a lot last year. And, um, so when I found out that Antoine loves, uh, lo like, hosted the GeoGuessr World Cup. Like, I knew of him. Like, I, w I watched his stream for the World Cup before. So I was very confused. <laughs> okay, and I won't lie, I didn't follow. Uh, <laughs> so I was very confused when I went to go follow him. I was like, oh, I already have channel points for his channel. Wait, why? <laughs> I feel bad. Um, but I'm following now. Oops. Um, anyways. Yeah, I know. And Etal also knows about GeoGuessr, um, which is funny because, like, I read all the descriptions. So when Etal was talking about GeoGuessr yesterday, and because he was talking about how he knew, like, a bunch of, like, Ohio, like, cities because of GeoGuessr, which makes sense. Um... I was like, oh, yeah. I keep forgetting that Etoile plays GeoGuessr. <clears throat> and wait, who who else also plays GeoGuessr? Someone else plays GeoGuessr that was just added recently. Was it Paul? Is, did I say his name right? Is it Paul or Paul? Paul Paul is a big GeoGuessr creator. <clears throat> I think that's really cool. He has a skin in the game. <clears throat> That's awesome. Did you guys know that I designed someone's skin in GeoGuessr? <clears throat> <gasps> Hello. Flying Orange Mint, thank you so much for the four months. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I really appreciate it. Thank you. It was so chill. I was surprised he ended already. He truly is European time. Whose skin? Kodiak. If you guys know who he is. <laughs> Kodiak is one of my friends. Um, he pops in in chat sometimes. Paul's streams are... Is it Paul or Paul? Paul, Paul. Paul is Paul. Paul is Paul. Ow. Oh, Shy was taken. Thank you so much for the sub for five months. <clears throat> thank you, thank you. Thank you so much for the five months. Thank you. Ow. Strong O sound? Pole. Pole, not Paul. Okay. Pole. Like, like, P O L E. Pole. Mm -mm. it's officially to get 5,000 points here let's go you can redeem a lot of stuff with 500 points oh 500 5,000 so you can get a fit check a duolingo lesson type racer type test 2048 fleepo or jort song piss baby song and all the other lower ones School starts again soon and watching streamers like Foolish is going to be difficult since I'm European. Nah, I feel that. I feel that. That's why, like, do you, you guys don't understand my despair yesterday. Um, My despair yesterday 
was literally when Myung said, um, yeah, you're going to play the horror game at 8 p.m. PST. And I was like, ugh. Ugh. You guys don't understand. PST is one of the worst. It's the worst time zone. I'm sorry. Like, I just can't. <laughs> uh, uh, op, 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 my sums. I am so sorry. I did not read your name correctly. But thank you so much for the tier one. And you guys started a hype train. That's crazy. That's crazy. Thank you. Thank you so much for the <clears throat> for the tier one. So thank you. But I like you. Oh my gosh. Wait, wait, wait. If you don't have money, please, you know, don't feel obligated to sub. Just, you guys just being here is already enough support. Um <laughs> But thank you so much for the sub. I really appreciate it. But if you cannot afford it, no need. No need. That game gave me nightmares tonight. Um so I was I was watching Foolish play it, right? While while I was crocheting. <laughs> I want to support you and your art. Oh, thank you. That is so sweet of you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Um I love the music followers on the French QSB side. The remixes are amazing. They need to post the palm in a box one. Wait, wait, there's a palm in a box one? Really? Wait, what's your stream schedule? Okay. So my stream schedule has been all over the place recently. So um, I recently, I've been trying to stream at 10 a.m. EST. Um... So it's Foolish's time zone, EST. So I normally stream at 10 a.m. EST to 1 p.m. EST. Um, but most, I, my other streaming schedule, I stream, I start streaming at 1 p.m. EST. I either start stream at 10 a.m. EST or 1 p.m. EST, but I've been trying to start streaming in the morning because I want to avoid the afternoon so that I can watch more streams. Like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm a viewer. I am as much of a viewer as you guys. So I've been switching up my schedule because I used to do my um, professional work in the morning, stream in the afternoon. But now I'm changing it up so that I do my streams in the morning and my professional work, like my actual job work, in the afternoon um so yeah i like the emoji thank you they're kokas so mm -mm -mm -mm. at least listen pay attention in class so yeah sometimes though i stream in the morning um because like the only reason why I stop at around 1 is because that's my lunch break. <laughs> and so I go and get food. So sometimes I will start my stream in the morning um, and then have a mini break in the middle of my stream where I go get food. And then I come back and continue. And then I end. Uh, but yeah. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. So that's something that I might do today, actually. Um, so at around one, I think, um, I'm going to take a short break. I'm going to go get food and then come back. Streams when I'm at school and I can't listen because I can't find my headphones. No. Mm -mm. I want to draw now. Let's draw together. Let's draw together. Okay, wait. So, yeah, I drew this yesterday, chap. And I can't believe this got like a Jaden notice. That was crazy. I really like how <laughs> Richarlison turned out. Look at him with his Hatsune Miku hair and his leaks. <laughs> yeah. I thought this was fun. 
and I didn't want like a solid white background this time so I just put like a lighter like teal-ish color um so I watch your streams on my nine to five job and no one can stop me <laughs> That's me with Foolish. I do, like, I watch Foolish so often because he's, like, my life background noise, you know? That's good. I need to go now, though. Goodbye. No worries. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good rest of your day. There's no class in university, so I'm watching the lives in the morning. I usually don't have time. Let's go. I kind of miss university. I miss school. But speaking of my streaming schedule, chat, if you guys don't know, I do have mod, Twitch mod applications open. Um, so at exclamation point mod apps, you can apply to be a Twitch moderator. Um, because of the school year, like, changing and, like, me slightly changing my time zones, um, my streaming schedule and everything, um, mod apps are open. So if you guys would like, you can apply at the link right there. Um, but yeah, um, we are looking for new moderators for the team. Um, but yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, there, there, just to explain a little bit, there will be like a slight trial mod period. Um, so even if you quote unquote do get the application, um, there will be a trial period um, to see if you can connect with the team um, well. And yeah, there you go. My English is not that good for it. No worries, no worries. You don't have to be 100% fluent in English, but you know, just, just know the gist, know the gist. We're a pretty chill team, so you're... But yeah, if you are interested, mod applications are open. Um, but yeah. But yeah. Also, it is, uh, we are looking for a little more QSMP language coverage. That's true. We are. We are. So if you are, if you do speak, Spanish, Portuguese, French, um, that would be, that would be kind of epic. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Ow. Do you guys ever, like, so I have gotten to a habit to, like, cracking my, like, knuckles and stuff, and, like, <laughs> I, like, my index finger on my right hand for some reason um, it just hurts sometimes because I don't crack my bone in the right place. And so then I have to, like, adjust my, my hand. The way you said that and I was cracking my knuckles. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Um. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. <laughs> no worries. It's for Charles and Miku. Miko, Miko. It's me, Carlyson. <laughs> um. Yeah, I don't know. I think this is one of my favorite Richarlisons. Do you guys know? Do you guys know what's so silly about this Richarlison? Is that I've drawn Richarlison in this pose so many times. You guys, you guys don't, you guys don't understand. So, I drew Richarlison in that pose, um, there. And then I drew him in the same pose here. <laughs> and then I drew him in the same pose again. Uh where i know i drew him in the same pose like that another time i don't know if this counts this counts is like reverse it's it's kind of like the same pose and then oh there's another one i am for sure i drew another one 
Uh, huh. I guess it was not as often as I thought, but I drew him in that pose like quite a bit. Like when in doubt, or Charleston is just jumping in the air for me. Mm -mm. Also, I drew this yesterday. I thought it was just so funny. <laughs> when the when the plan failed and <laughs> and foolish just had three kids with him foolish it was like it was like one of those like kids shows you know it was like those kids shows where like um they're trying to like they made a mistake but now they're trying to fix their mistake right and so <laughs> it was like some kind of like sitcom Uh, we got four of the greatest minds here. All right, guys, what's the plan? What's the plan? Palm sign of I give up made me laugh so hard. I wonder how long those mines are there. It, it's so interesting because Fit cleared the mines there once before already with his like torches. He already cleared a lot of the mines there. And so the mines popping up again yesterday actually made me a little bit nervous because Foolish almost died, right? And he was eating a lot of, like, he was, like, tanking a lot of the mines. And chat, I don't think I've seen Foolish break character and got so serious so fast before. I feel like it's Willy, but then I never seen his POV yet. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen Willy's POV yet either. <laughs> Was it Willy? Does anybody know? Cause I have I haven't watched his POV. How to use your reference on your uh procreate. Um so you go into if you click on the, the wrench icon at the top. And then you go to canvas. Um, there's a thing called reference, you know. And then you can use the reference. You can like upload the image. You have to import an image or whatever. Same goes to Tubbo's place. Yeah, Tubbo's place had a lot of mines too. I think it was Willie. I saw a post saying Willie was considering and then blew up a mine in Mariana's house. I don't know if he actually did though. Bilza did give him TNT, I think, after he blew up once. How do you make mines? <laughs> do you need TNT to make mines? Or do you just need... Um, Tubbo's place was mined by Bagheera. Oh, did Bagheera put the mines in Tubbo's place? Fit and Bagheera put the mines in Tubbo's house. Oh. Oh, I actually was wasn't expecting that. The mines was already there. Royer put it. Oh, Royer put it ages ago. Oh, that's interesting. But yeah. Um. <laughs> Thanks to Fit and Bagheera. Okay, cause like I wasn't sure. And a lot of coarse dirt to troll. <laughs> that is so interesting. But yeah, I have never seen Foolish break character and got so serious so fast. Like, he he was like, he told all of the eggs to pause, to freeze, to back up and stay in the water. <laughs> uh, they didn't want to break Tubbo's machines. Yeah, they put it in, like, the huge, like, flat land. Um, that could have been the death of two eggs. Yeah, but everything turned out okay. Everyone stayed in the water. Palm was smart enough to use her fishing pole to hit to land some mines, uh, to to land on some mines to explode them to see if it was still safe. Uh, Foolish did the good thing where he um sped bridge just like a a line of dirt, you know. Uh, a line of dirt to have like a protected bridge to um get to where Misa was. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Also, I have a question. This is like 
very meta. This is like on a meta level. Um, I'm sorry, but I'm curious. But do we know who's playing Cheyenne now? Because this Cheyenne only knows how to speak English, right? Um, O1, I think O1 was playing Cucurucho with Forever. Huh. And German, I see. O6, right? So, because I know QNPC 06 has been playing Cheyenne recently. Pretty sure it's the admin who was supposed to play the German egg. Oh gosh. 06 was Bobby's admin, right? Yeah, 06 was Bobby's number, but Bobby's admin doesn't play it anymore. So, I think it's like a new person playing 06. So... I wonder... It does make me wonder, did they change Cheyenne's admin? Hmm. It's a different person? Yeah, O6. Yeah. O6 is not Bobby's admin anymore. It's a different person playing O6. Yeah, it's, it's Walter Bob's admin. Maybe. Mm -mm. Isn't Phil streaming today? He'll probably mention it. Yeah. Mm -mm. When, a, when in a show they swap the actors for a character, is, there's a word for that? Mm -mm. Is busy with school so they can't log on very often? Yeah. They might have too since he was busy with school IRL. Yeah. So I think Cheyenne's admin is different. And might be here for a while. Oh, did Walter Bob say that he knew German? <laughs> Night school? Yeah. The original Cheyenne Ammon, his name doesn't show up in the map. Yeah. Owen's IRL stuff is taking um, precedence plus lead NPC requirements. Uh, still love the Ego, but just can't be on when Phil is. Yeah. Oh, Richarlison said that Walter Bob knows German, I believe. Oh, so that makes sense. And I think that's fun because it gives 06 another role. Is actually German yesterday since he was already saying there was no German on the server, but then corrected with Nikki. That's interesting. Because like 06 logs onto the server much more often. So they can log in when Phil's around and log in at night to hang out with other people. Because I remember, um, um, I, I know in my experience that Foolish doesn't hang out with Cheyenne in comparison to all the other eggs. Do you know if the new members are ever going to get an egg? I don't think so. And I don't think they ever will. Um, and a part of me kind of doesn't want another egg to join the server. <laughs> I feel like there's already too many eggs and the egg, it's like they keep leading that they want to end the egg arc, but then the egg arc just never ends. And if they want to end an egg arc, I don't think adding another egg would help, you know? And I think that was, like, the the problem and, like, the dilemma with Palm. Because I think they were trying to end the egg arc, but then they added Palm. But then they tried to kill Palm, like, because Palm got added when the code was around to knock down every egg's life to one. You know? So, when Palm arrived, Dapper was the last egg besides Palm who had two lives right um so so palm was a target since the beginning you know and i don't know i feel like i don't know recently learned to find clothes on the new egg it's not a new egg technically it, it's like an egg that they just didn't discover unfortunately 
Tallulah yesterday with Foolish was cute. Also, Tallulah in Spanish has a wild personality. I love her. I found it so endearing when Foolish found out that Tallulah's, like, main language that she speaks isn't English, but instead Spanish. So he encouraged her to write in Spanish around him so that he can both practice and so that she can feel more comfortable speaking, you know? And I thought that was really sweet, you know? <laughs> now Tallulah has two people that she can speak Spanish to. Or, well, three, now that Misa's back. Because I know Phil told Tallulah that... Um, I know Tallulah told Phil that... The, because Phil said that he wanted to practice more Spanish. And Tallulah said that they can do what Foolish and Leo does, where Leo speaks, like, writes completely in Spanish to Foolish, and Foolish, like, practices that way. So I know Tallulah has been writing more Spanish signs with Phil, and now Tallulah can write Spanish to Foolish. And, um, the signs, the, the, t the TTS and auto-translate could help a lot, too. Also, when he kept calling her Tallulu, I think, I think now Foolish is aware that he calls her Tallulu, but... Now he just, because, like, he's been calling her Tolulu since, like, the beginning. Um, he's been calling her Tolulu since the beginning. He just calls her Tolulu now. And, you know, Tolulu absolutely loves that nickname. Because Foolish is the only one who calls her Tolulu, you know? Because, like, I know everyone else either calls her Tolula or Lula, but he calls her Tolulu, and I, I don't know, I feel like it's so cute. Like, when she, when one of the, the missions, the tasks, was, um, to leave in a, a motivational message, um, at the Titan, she signed her book with Tolulu, and I think that is the cutest thing ever. It was so endearing. Mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. I also find it really cute how Tallulah, uh, you think Phil wants to practice because Musa came back for a bit? Maybe. Hello, welcome in. Um, you can tell he was aware because he was acknowledging the name tag when they were plotting. Exactly, exactly. I think it's so awesome the admin had to listen the signs for, uh, Tubbo. No, I agree. The TTS is, like, awesome add time chat hello chat i know i know we spoke about the french and how they don't play ads because it's in french streaming culture that if they play ads no person will will watch them ever again but um i'm american i'm sorry so ads <laughs> ads ads are a free way to support me um people shy <laughs> uh so if 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 it's okay if i can run some very short ads um yeah in the english english twitch culture we eat ads for snacks yep <laughs> so if it's okay if i run really short ads um uh, for the hour um it is september too it is september as well so, um, <laughs> but, but, but do not feel you need to, like, if you cannot afford it, don't worry. Don't need to sub. Ads are a free way to support me. Um, so if you guys do watch the very, very short ads, um, they, they support me just as much. Or if you have a Prime, Primes are a free subscription. They are free money that you can give away. Um, if you connect your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch account, you get one free Prime every month, but they do not auto-renew. So check every single month to use your Prime, or else you're going to lose out on giving your favorite streamer, um, free money. Yeah, you won't miss anything. I don't draw. <laughs> I never draw. Anyways, I'm writing some ads. I said that the ad it on i have no money so give the ads so i can support yippee mm -mm 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 -mm. mm 
I love there's something about like Apple like iPhones typing sounds that I really like. <laughs> there's just something about it that I really enjoy just like typing on my phone. Like the sound just feels nice. Um but yeah. I thought it was really funny. I thought it was it was kind of nice, you know? Um <laughs> Anyways, do you have a rough idea on how long stream will be today? Depending on my next text message that I'm about to get on my phone, it will either be an hour or two hours. <laughs> mm -mm, mm -mm. Back from the ads. Welcome back. The only thing you... If you're back from the ads, the only thing you miss was me texting. <laughs> I was texting somebody. Um... <laughs> mm -mm. But yeah. What what I appreciate um, yesterday as well was that Tallulah has spent a lot of time with Foolish at this point and knows Foolish's character. And she saw the whole story, you know, basically the whole story. And I thought it was endearing that she saw how Foolish was trying to fix it because he knew he made a mistake. And so she was there to support him, you know, and, um, <laughs> and encouraged to like, you know, get in on the drama, but like, she didn't really hold it against him. You know what I mean? Mm. What mistake did he make? Um, so yesterday, Tubbo, um, what was it? Tubbo wanted to, um, Tubbo was pulling a joke, right? It was the joke of trying to, because like, if you guys didn't know, Phil had, Phil made a uh, Tubbo the Godfather, right? Then Tubbo said that, the way to be to the way to be or something about being the father of like Tulua and Cheyenne was to get rid of like their fathers, you know, to get rid of Phil and to get rid of Misa, right? Um can't wait for Lula to tell Phil today. I think that would be really funny. But surely Tallulah remembers to include Tubbo. <laughs> in the story <laughs> or else it's not looking really good for foolish um so it, in tubbo's head he quote unquote was jokingly planning to get rid of misa and phil and um but like not seriously you know so and of course tubbo was also sleep deprived so he's and very tired so he's also on like some different level right? He's a, a little extra silly, um, a little extra too much, right? So he was talking with um, Foolish and they were jokingly around just chasing Misa down, right? Um, so Misa just wanted to like kind of say hi to his son, but um, um, Foolish and Tubbo were just kind of like chasing him of course they didn't know the context that misa is a little bit of a quote-unquote insecure father um because he was gone for so long um and so they they implied saying that there's too many fathers on the island um so we need to get rid of um one 
Keep in mind, they never said that Misa was a bad father. So, so Misa just like took that into his head, right? And he was like, oh, they're trying to get rid of me because I'm a bad father. They never said that he was a bad father, but that's what he said in his mind because he's like, he's very insecure since he was like, you know, away for a long time. So then he was like, okay, I'm going to run away um, and I'll only come back until I learn to be a good father, right? Um, and so he ran away, um, Tubbo logged off because he panicked. And so all the kids were surrounding Foolish. There was Palm, Tallulah, and Cheyenne. And then uh, Foolish kind of realized that it was a mistake because he didn't realize that Misa was insecure about it. So he was like, all right, kids, we're going to go find Misa and fix this, right? Um, and so the three, the four of them went... <laughs> wet cast me wet cat misa for real like honestly i watch misa sometimes but like on the day when he came back um with like all the new members and stuff and phil and misa were hanging out i um um i couldn't really watch them but i saw like tweets about how misa is wet cat boy fail um and so i was like oh that's funny but yesterday i got a taste of boy fail <laughs> literally i got a taste of it and i thought it was so funny watching it yesterday um i did open misa's stream so when he tp'd into like the desert area he looked at chat and said chat i just want to cause some drama that's it so we're gonna be dramatic and i'm like i'm like okay that's fair that is that is very fair um and then i went back to foolish's point of view um yeah and then me sister yelling in the in-game public chat um like half truths half lies half he just kind of added for the drama <laughs> and i was like this is this is interesting <laughs> Like, the way when he, when Misa started saying, like, stuff that didn't actually happen, Foolish was like, what? <laughs> he was like, question mark? And I'm pretty sure the kids were also kind of question mark, because they were like, wait, that didn't happen. <laughs> and so they chased down Misa several times. Misa TP'd several times. Um, it was interesting. It was interesting. So yeah, and in the end, all was well. All was well. And somehow all the blame, everything was so dramatic. Palm even typed in chat and everyone was like... Well, Palm didn't type in chat. Palm used a speaker block. Um, Palm used the speaker block to communicate. So only people within the area of the speaker block could see it. You know? Because like, no one's stopping to read signs because Misa keeps running away. Um, so, you know. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I was watching Misa. He said he didn't want to leave. He was just doing it for the drama. Yeah. <laughs> she was so fed up, though. Honestly, if I was in palm shoes, I would also be fed up. Because, like, she she was there to help, like, Foolish you know, um, and she knew Foolish's intentions, and Foolish was trying to get Misa to, like, hear him out, but Misa kept running away and didn't want to hear them out, which was so wet cat vibes of him, um, and so, yeah, that's why we Palm was all like, yeah, I give up. Mm-mm-mm. <laughs> mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> to be fair, if someone chased me down then kept running at me yelling I'd run too. I guess that's fair. But like Foolish just wanted to warn that to Misa that he was there, you know? And also Misa was in so, so, here, here's the thing. Misa was in a house, right? Misa was in a house protected 
in the desert. The only way Foolish could get to him was if he opened the door and then, like, you know, attacked him or something, if that was in his head. But here, the thing is, is that Foolish stayed on the outside, didn't make a move to go in. He just was, like, telling Misa, I was like, Misa, I'm just here to talk, blah, blah, blah. But, like, you know, Misa... <laughs> Misa just didn't want to say, so he dipped. Um, so that's one. And then there was the other incident where Foolish was stepped back. You know? He was stepped back. He was all like, let's talk. Um, I just want to talk. Misa was so far away from Foolish. Foolish was standing back. Then Misa was all like, okay, okay. L let me say the words first. Took out his warp and started trying to warp away. And so <laughs> Like, I'm like, yeah, it's fair to keep running away if someone's chasing you down. But sometimes I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Misa is too wet cat for even light murder threats. There wasn't even a murder threat. He made it up. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. <laughs> The only, like, the only person making, like, the actual murder threat was Tubbo, and Tubbo wasn't even there. Lula <laughs> uh. was telling Royer everything that happened, and she's basically like, Foolish didn't do anything bad. He only said he wanted to kill him because there's too many dads, but no big deal. <laughs> uh... I think it's funny that Foolish got, like, so much of the blame when, uh, really, he <laughs> he barely did anything. It was mainly Tubbo. Tubbo was like, there's too many dads. Then Foolish was like, it just echoed him, you know? <laughs> and the fact that Misa was like, Foolish, why did you lie about being president when Foolish didn't even say that lie either? It was Bad Boy Halo. Bad Boy Halo told him the lie, and I... That was so funny. Like, Foolish was all like, wait, why, why am I getting blamed? I never lied to you. Then Misa's like, oh, wait, you're right. <laughs> yeah, you're right. And then Foolish's like, yeah, if anybody, you should be mad at bad boy Halo. <laughs> and I thought that was funny. Uh, that was funny. Bad loves drama. Bad wasn't even there for the drama, which was funny. Also, um, also, I think it was, like, so funny. Yeah, the therapy session, I thought that was such a sitcom in itself. I didn't really understand what they were saying. But, but when Misa was talking about, like, Cheyenne, and then Melissa was all like, okay, you gotta talk to your son. Now let's bring in Cheyenne. It was, like, a game show, you know, where, like, Cheyenne just appeared out of nowhere. Like, Cheyenne appeared from, like, the roof of the, the therapy office. <laughs> and then people just started clapping, like, Foolish. I know Foolish and Tubbo was supposed to be, like, what, was, like, like undercover. But then they just started <laughs> clapping. They're like, woo, Cheyenne, let's go. <laughs> and then Misa joined in and was like, yeah, Cheyenne. I was like, what is happening? <laughs> It was just so funny. And then they all left. And I think Tallulah put up a sign saying, you know, I was expecting some more drama. <laughs> it was just so funny. That ending was so silly to me. I don't know why. <laughs> I, like, I had no idea where the whole night was going. I was like, where is this going? <laughs> It was a parody for the Mexican show called Senorita Laura. <clears throat> he said phrases from the popular show. In short, Misa said that Cheyenne was driven in the wrong path by wrongins, aka Foolish and Tabo, and they kept egging on how Cheyenne was a new person. <laughs> uh, his simple presence made everyone happy. Yeah. That was just so silly. <clears throat> And, and it's so funny that Misa says Cheyenne was driven to the wrong path by wrongins, aka Foolish and Tubbo, when really the only person that Cheyenne ever hangs out with is Phil and Tallulah. 
or bad boy halo one of the three um so i thought that was so funny to me <laughs> i'm like cheyenne has met tubbo yesterday <laughs> cheyenne has known tubbo for only two days um, and Cheyenne is never awake when Foolish is on <laughs> uh. Oh, uh, Trickster, thank you so much for the raid! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for the raid. Welcome in, everybody. Welcome in. How's your stream? How's your stream? What are you guys up to? Hello, hello. I'm just talking about stuff from the QSMP. No, but when Foolish and Lula wanted more drama and talked about maybe saying Cheyenne wasn't Misa's son and Lula said, is Cheyenne a many liches? I lost it. Oh my gosh. Hello. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Hi, everybody. My name is G, or KSD, either or is fine. Um, and I am a just chatting streamer disguised as an art streamer. Welcome in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. <clears throat> Everyone essentially stood next to Tubbo for five minutes and get blamed for stuff as soon as he left. I thought it was funny that Tubbo was trying to rope people in to his shenanigans, you know? Like, <laughs> Tubbo tricked Foolish into... <laughs> Tubbo tricked Foolish into getting extra hearts. <laughs> Find it funny how Misa suddenly asking for fan art about him and Phil's a senpai. Mm -mm -mm. Speaking of which, I thought it was endearing that Foolish trusted, like, Tina to take care of Leo. <laughs> Q-Tubbo was out of control, broke all the laws, and I guess attempted murder and framed Foolish. I love how Tubbo has only been on the server for, like, three, three days or so. He's only been on the server for three days, and he already got Kukurucho, like, on him. <laughs> like, he already got Kukurucho, like, on his tail. And I, it's, it's funny to me, I think it's funny to me, because Kukurucho did not only fail to get all of the extra hearts from Tubbo, but also failed to get the machine from Tubbo. <laughs> Which is so funny. Tubbo becoming Brazilian. Did you guys see when Tubbo met Mike yesterday, uh, was it yesterday? Tubbo met Mike yesterday. And when Mike heard of all of Tubbo's, like, shenanigans, he's all like, ah, oh, this is one of mine. He's one of mine. Did you guys see that? Uh, that was kind of endearing. Like, I already knew that once Tubbo joined the server, he, him and Tasercraft were going to, were going to do all sorts of silly things. <laughs> Forever was like, oh no, you're another mic. <laughs> I want Tubbo and Tasercraft interaction so badly. Yeah. I don't know when Pac is going to be back. Because isn't Mike moving soon? Mike's going to move soon. It's so cute how Tubbo gets whenever he sees Rishis. It's funny because, like, Tubbo just doesn't hide the fact that Richarlison is his favorite. <laughs> apparently kukurucho was also trying to take forever's drill for the same thing with the drill i see 
So I don't know how he normally acts, but I hope it doesn't get too out of control. This is normal Tubbo behavior, so... Next week? Oh. Mike is going to Canada, yes, for college. Ooh. Our so siblings cut in. Yeah, don't worry. Tubbo, Tubbo is so aware of, like, the safety of the eggs. He won't do anything that will harm the eggs ever. Like, he, he like, made 100% sure that his drill was safe for the eggs to be around, you know? Pac was traveling yesterday, according to Mike. Yeah. Because I know Tubbo said that he doesn't want to see Choom Labs unless, like, because Pac said that he wanted to be there. Mm-mm-mm. How about add safety seats? Exactly. Do 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 ba do ba do. Mm-mm-mm. To get over you. Wild birds I still think of you. <clears throat> Mm -mm 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 -mm. I want Tubbo to meet Leo since him and Foolish hang out so much. Yeah, but Leo gets on really late. Like, Leo got- Leo logged in last night when Foolish was getting ready to leave. Pac was meeting with Seldon Forever and Phelps IRL. Does- Like, I don't want to dox anybody. But, like, does- I know Selba and Forever met before. Like, they live relatively close to each other. Um, and I know Selba and Phelps knows each other. So, does, like, Pac live in a further part of Brazil? Mm -mm. The fact his first reaction was foolish after Kukurucha came was to triple the drill. They're just, they just feel each other's, like, like, impulsive thoughts. <gasps> Jasper! Hi, Jasper. We need Leo, Jaden, and Tina shenanigans. I need a day where foolish lets Tina do Leo's tasks. At least one day. I think it would be so cute. Or like the girls taking care of Leo or something. <clears throat> I think he would have let her because last night um, he would have if she was live. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Leo said that she just wanted to say hi. Hmm. Maybe she was aware. That uh, foolish had to go. <laughs> no, we all know that Leo is a doozer. Leo, did you guys see Richarlison yesterday? Richarlison was all like, at foolish, shift dance. <laughs> I was like, is this a doozer among us? Like, I already, I already know that Richarlison is a doozer, but like, I was like. So you're like a doozer doozer. <laughs> Rashelson is a doozer doozer. <laughs> Foolish was all like, what do you know about a shift dance? Shouts to my beloved true. Jaden left us with a cliffhanger. Guys, I said it so many times, but I keep wanting to say it because they mean so much to me. But Jaden and Foolish's friendship, both inside and outside of role, like means the world to me. They literally mean the world to me. Forever lives in Rio de Janeiro, Selbit, in Sao Paulo. 
The states are next to each other. Phelps lives in Sao Paulo too. I see, I see. They only meet so often because Selbit needs to go to Rio de Janeiro a lot, but both Selbit and Forever live far away from each other. Oh, I see, I see. Foolish mentioning it was cute. The way he was talking about it, how it was just like probably out of everyone that he saw on the list, him and Jaden getting along was like one of his most pleasant surprises, you know? Like, he didn't expect it. Like, both him and Jaden didn't expect them to get a well as long as they along get along as well as they do. Is that proper English? Whatever. Um, but <laughs> they're just like such lovely friends. I think so. <laughs> Did do, but they still are. Did. I guess that makes sense. I don't know. Whatever. English. 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 <laughs> it's close enough. If you guys get it, you get it. Um. But yeah. Like, I don't know. Their friendship means so much to me. The fact that Jaden trusts him that much to tell her her secret makes me so. I know, right? Like, Jaden wanted to tell Foolish before she left. Um, I don't know. I just thought that was so sweet because I know Jaden said how she was like, um, wanting to close off Bobby Fields, right? She wants to close off Bobby Fields, wants to put her walls back up, um, uh, wanted to put her walls back up and like not tell other people because like she knew that sometimes telling the truth hurts more than... Um, you know, so she's been keeping it a secret that she was not actually kidnapped. Like if you watch Jaden's point of view, she wasn't actually kidnapped by Cucurucho or by the Federation. <clears throat> she willingly stayed with Cucurucho to help another Cucurucho out. So she willingly stayed, you know, uh, so she told Foolish that. She said, Foolish, do not tell anybody. And Foolish swore that he won't tell anybody, not even Leo. So Foolish is also the Miku manager. And I thought, do you know, I feel like that was just like a silly moment. But I, I genuinely, honestly thought that was so endearing because Jaden has always been Foolish's manager for everything. Like the kelp manager, the capybara manager. Um, um, but, you know, when, when, when Jaden told Foolish about Miku, I don't know, it's just, it's, it's a part of Foolish's personality that when someone tells him something that they're interested in or, like, that they're working hard in, he literally gives them 110% of his attention and returns the enthusiasm full force. Like, you can see that with, like, Selbit's, like, um, like, entity rooms and, like, picking stuff. Like, he, um, helped Leo go there, show the capybaras there, like, mention, like, it to other people, like, mention, like, Selbit's game. When Jaden was talking about the Miku statue, like, the, the Miku, like, structure, he was there, um, like, mirrored her excitement, enthusiasm, stayed, helped take pictures. Um, like, it was just, like, the small thing where he briefly mentioned to Jaden, like, hey, you should get Kukurucho here. And when Kukurucho showed up, he didn't, like, you know, like, bombard Kukurucho with, like, whatever he wanted. But first, he let he did everything, supported Jaden, taking pictures for her with, like, Kukurucho. And then later when Kukurucho st stuck around is when he started, like, talking and stuff. But, um, but I don't know. I just, like, love that about Foolish. <laughs> I just love that about Foolish because, like, you know, he's so supportive of his friends. He's, like, one of the most supportive people, you know? <laughs> Etoile's remembering it was his mother's birthday and the sheer panic in his voice. Etoile is so funny.
I wish both Jaden and Foolish log on around the same time to talk more about it. And the thing is, is that if you guys didn't see, but offline, well, after Jaden logged off, Jaden mentioned how she should have, like, oh, instead of, because, like, you know how Etoile, like, TP to the Foolish house, like, um, right when they were talking about something, right? Um... Jaden said that, oh, I sh I probably should have said that we should go to Bobby Fields, you know, like to her place. And even though she said that she was going to close off Bobby Fields, she still, you know, if, if they went to Bobby Fields, it would have been like such a confirmation of her trust with Foolish because she was going to close off Bobby Fields, you know. <clears throat> but she did talk about it with Bagheera about Bobby Fields. The warp stone at Bobby Fields. Yeah. All the kids being online was very precious. It was kind of interesting. Like the kids to parents ratio yesterday. There was Tina, Foolish, Misa, Bad. Um, and then the eggs online at that time. Because I know Iron Mouse logged in later. But then the eggs online at that time was Risharsen, Leo, Tallulah, Cheyenne, Dapper and Palm. <laughs> yeah, she showed Bagheera before. So, like, the people that she showed Bobby Fields to, everyone except Ramon. <laughs> Wait, that's true. I forgot there were seven eggs. I was like, yeah, six eggs were online. <laughs> oh, Ramon. Um, I think the people that she showed Bobby Fields to, was Royer, Bagheera, Foolish. Did she show it to anybody else? Because I know Forever and Max was there. Oh, and Selbit. Um, I know Forever and Max were there, but like they weren't invited. They were just snooping. And Richarlison. Oh, if we're including eggs, then Richarlison and Leo were both there. Mm-mm-mm. mm mm, -mm. mm, -mm, -mm. said a thing really similar because he knows the people don't trust him so much. After he infiltrated the Federation, he knows that if he told the whole truth of what he was doing, people would be suspicious. Yeah. Jaden find a hidden waystone at her house was heartbreaking. It was. Like, you can see... You can literally see the moment where... Like... She felt betrayed somewhat, somewhat, you know? That made me sad, too. Like, I know that, I know that, like, Waystone was, that Waystone was really old. Like, it happened, like, a long time ago. And it hasn't been in use, but, you know. What stream did she find the Waystone? It was around, like, two streams ago. Who placed the waystone? Forever placed the waystone when he was snooping around with Max like a long time ago. It was like near the beginning where Jaden was doing tasks for Cucurucho, I think. Yeah. Mm -mm. Don't forget, chat. I think I'm going to take this opportunity really quick to um say. Don't forget, this is all role play. <laughs> this is all role play. It's nothing too serious. So don't get, you know, too, you know, too much about it. Like, we can talk about it. And, like, it, I think it's fair to criticize, like, their characters. But, like, you know, don't be much. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you think they'll get caught with the Kukurucha thing? Who Jaden and Foolish about how Jaden, um, how Jaden wasn't actually kidnapped? I don't think so. Because the only possibility that I can think of is Etoile. At 12 TPing and possibly being able to see the 
uh the like the last couple words to their conversation um but i don't know how much he could have heard you know yeah the bubbles but i don't know how much he could have heard because i don't know what they were saying Why did Forever put a waste on a Bobby Fields? I it was a long time ago because he thought that um Jaden was being suspicious. So he wanted to quote unquote keep an eye on her. But that was a long time ago, and I genuinely think he forgot that Waystone was there. Bubbles never been accurate too. Surely that doesn't count. I'm sorry, but Jaden and Foolish are low-key bad at sneaky. I mean, if I'm going to be genuinely honest here, I don't think anybody is really good at being sneaky, <laughs> especially if there's more than one. Like, have you seen the Jadens? <laughs> have you seen the Jadens? <laughs> Iconic. I missed that stream. That was one of the funniest streams ever. Like, Jaden, <laughs> Selvit, Richarlison, Foolish, and Bad just trying to follow Jaden. And it was just so bad. It's just so good. Fit and Phil are pretty good at it. But man, the Jadens are so funny. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I feel like Etoile would be honorable and wouldn't pry. Honestly, yeah. I think Etoile is like the... Yeah, I don't think he would. <laughs> I want to draw QSMP characters now. Let's go. The Jadens collectively share one brain cell. Real. Mm -mm -mm. We kept laughing at how bad and foolish kept arguing. And I thought that was funny because Jaden didn't even know that Foolish and Bad were following her until she saw Foolish run out of Invis, which was a long time. Because, like, she knew that Rashalison and Selbit were following, but she didn't know that Foolish and Bad were following. <laughs> Despite them being the loudest. Selvit really was trying to be serious and just gave up. I love how I thought it was so funny that Selvit was trying to get away from Foolish and Bad, but in the end, he followed them because he ran out of Invis. <laughs> he ran out of Invis potions. He was just planning to just be sneaky. <laughs> and then Bad and Foolish yelled at him. <laughs> they were like, Selvit! You're not Invis! And he was like, I ran out of Invis! I was like, what do you mean you ran out of Invis? Where's Richarlison? Your jaw is so beautiful. Thank you. The part where Jaden saw Rishis splash them with Invis and she was like, I do not see. I love when she was trying to break the boat, but then she accidentally punched the player, and she was like, oh no, I hurt the boat. Uh, I also cannot believe that Jaden missed... She missed the part where an invisible... Like, a boat with literally no people in it. Literally no people in it. Was just like... Was just like flying towards her but she didn't notice that it was there she just looked broke her boat and then like turned around and left i'm like jaded because like i was watching her point of view too and it was just so funny seeing like a speeding boat with no persons in it going straight towards her <laughs> oh my god that was so funny i missed that moment so much that was so funny gotta rewatch that episode honestly it was so fun like, I didn't realize how funny it was, but man. <laughs> Ghost vote, Domero. Just join, I'm loving the art. Thank you so much. Thank you. She was looking at the opposite direction the whole time. That's true, but she did turn. She did turn 
um, so that she can go pick up something. But it was funny. Jaden waiting for the people to join her boat. Uh, that was hilarious. Best episode. That was probably one of my favorite episodes. And the thing is, is that <laughs> that episode was made during, what was it? It was TwitchCon Paris. So nobody was there except for those five people. <laughs> Those five people were the only ones online. And, like, it's not even a filler episode. Like, this episode was actually genuinely important for the lore. <laughs> but it was so funny. <laughs> it was funny because Jaden was talking to herself unmuted, knowing there's people there. It was great. Imagine if Bad and Foolish never joined them and Jaden, Selva, and Rishis had to do the dungeon alone. Oh, yeah, no way. There was just no way. <sighs> Etol getting mad that he wasn't part of the dungeon. I thought his, his little, like, rant during the live stream was so funny. He's like he he retold the story of like when he when he confronted Quackity about about the dungeon. It was so funny. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Man, that was a good time. That was a good moment. That was funny. They knew he was too OP. I wonder what's gonna happen today. Oh, there's like something about like um not today, but like in the Discord, there was a QSP Among Us. I know Etol signed up. I don't know if Jaden signed up, but I know Etol told Foolish. And foolish signed up, so I, so we we might finally have a QSMP among us. Bagheera did too. I don't know when it is. <clears throat> There's the fight with the code and Etol today. I think there is. <laughs> oh God, Etol is always fighting with the code. <clears throat> Out of everyone on the server, who do you think can actually hide stuff? Because a lot of them have secrets, but most slip up. Um, honestly, if I could be genuinely honest, I think Selbit can hide things. Um, I think Fit could hide things. Phil, I feel like, just is able to hide things because he doesn't interact with people as much. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was about to say, Jasper. I feel like someone that people wouldn't ever say is foolish. I, th I think foolish can hide things. Because, for one, if it's mainly, like, a solo mission... Foolish can hide things pretty well if he really, like, puts effort into it, you know? Because he's hidden chest with, like, like the extra guns and, like, the extra, like, ammo. He's hid stuff from chat. Like, he's had stuff that he hid from us. So there's stuff that we don't even know, you know? Um, And with the solo mission, Foolish is, like, determined enough to, like, not tell anybody that he has something, you know, or um, if he's done something. And he's really good of just, like, sticking to his word, you know? Yeah, and he has the cloud. Like, no one knows that he has the cloud. You know, the only people that knows he has the cloud are literally Leo, Palm, um, Elisangela, and Senora Neji, okay? Those are the four people who knows he has a cloud. <laughs> he has a cloud? Exactly! <laughs> See? I thought one of the funniest moments was when he was talking to Fit about getting a badge, you know? Was it Fit? 
I think he was talking to Fit. And then Fit was all like, yeah, all you gotta do is get a job for the Federation and then maybe they'll give you a cloud, right? And then Foolish was laughing. And on his point of view, he like went into his inventory and was like, yeah, I just need to get a job with the Federation. And then he just like circled his cursor around his badge. And he was like, yeah, I just need to get a job with the Federation and, you know... Maybe, maybe they'll pay me in a cloud. And then he circled his cursor with his like little like trapped box of a cloud. I was like, this man is too smug for his own good. <laughs> like in the in Fitz point of view, none the wiser. But like Foolish was so smug when he did that. He was just so smug. On Fitz point of view, you never know. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I love Foolish. He's great. Maybe I'm just a little bit tiny, eensy bit biased, but I love Foolish. Uh -uh, uh -uh. He's so great in his roleplay, playing stupid, but also being so smart. Yeah. Foolish's wish list is wild to look at, but somehow that man has completed most of them. That is so interesting to me, because I remember when Foolish made that wish list. I remember when he made that wish list, and like all of us are like, yeah, it's kind of it's kind of like a ridiculous wish list. Like, it's never, like, he's not going to accomplish any of these, like, as quick, you know? It seems so unreasonable. Exactly. And, like, what's the only thing that he doesn't have that he didn't get yet? He did, he wanted Prot 10 armor and he wanted to be kidnapped, you know? But, like, he's gotten everything else, which is so crazy to me. Be the change you want to see in your life for real, for real. Exactly. That is crazy. I cannot believe he became king of the capybaras, got a cloud, and the eternal banana before he got Prot 10. And he found the dungeon with the Prot 10 pant like pants. The fact that the Prot 10 was the easiest to have, but it's one of the last thing he doesn't have exactly. Royer is so sneaky and smart too. Yeah. I think that's... Here's here's the thing that is common between Royer and Foolish, is that they're both silly. They're both silly, and they both would rather be silly than be serious. You know? Um, So, like, when they both are serious, and they put, like, you know, the dedication and time into doing something, then they'll absolutely achieve it. But it's more, f to them, it's more fun to be silly, which is fair. He should add Mr. Mustard to the wish list. Oh, Apple Warrior is the creepy pasta of the server. Royer is the most unserious person. Yeah. Love how Royer doesn't have to disconnect to change skins anymore. I've noticed that. That's interesting. Because, like, in a click of the button, like, he changes his name and his skin. Cheyenne is literally telling Misa, don't listen to him. His name is literally foolish. Him and Max can do that too. That's awesome. They're, they're still, they're very, I'm just a silly guy. Can't hurt or suspect a silly guy. They have like jester energy. Came through commands that let Charlie be gag. Mm -mm -mm. I 
I really hope that admins do something for Foolish and Celibate Rivalry for Employees of the Month. I think it would be really funny if they turned that silly little rivalry into like some kind of serious lore that can get angsty. I think that would be funny. That's why Rare and Foolish get along. They both have the <laughs> I'm an idiot um facade. <laughs> but Rare especially can be serious if he needs to be. Yeah. Pressure Foolish into doing angst. I genuinely feel like that Foolish can do really angsty lore so well if he really puts his mind to it. Because, like, this guy can drop, like, like sad one-liners or, like, such crazy one-liners all the time. Like, <laughs> he can really do it if he wanted to. You know, he really could. I think it would be so funny. You know, I think it would be so funny if just like out of the blue, one day does super serious lore and then goes back to being silly. I think that would be so genuinely funny. I'll never forget Selvit fully fortifying the castle, panicking at Abelorier coming for a sudden visit. Yeah. All his beheaded lines, I know. Dizzy here saying, hi, thanks for accompanying me while I eat. Hello, welcome in. I hope you have a great meal. Oh god. Ugh. <sighs> Loki wants Cuba had it to be gone for longer for the angst. Have they started the girl neighborhood yet? Um, I know Jaden wants to start it, but um, Jaden wanted to wait for Tina to and Mouse to pick their areas before she wants to pick her area. Wish's character has so much potential for an angsty villain arc. It really does. All the babies. <laughs> They will all log in today like they were talking about. I really hope so. I really hope all of them log in today and then start on the girl neighborhood and just hang out. Be silly. Be fun. Prage, prage. More mouse content. I know Mouse didn't stream the QSMP yesterday, so I think Mouse is living in Selbit's castle. Mouse is temporarily staying in Selbit's castle, um, because like she mentioned, um, um, he mentioned, uh, she mentioned squatting in like the area near Foolish's place, and so Selbit offered the extra room to her, so. It would be cute they had a girls' night with Leo, Palm, and Tallulah. I know Jaden was talking with Bagheera yesterday because Bagheera wanted to meet the new people. She wants to build a permanent base too, I think. Yeah. So, she's temporarily staying at um Selbit's place. Does anyone know if Bagheera logs in today too? I think so maybe because she logged in yesterday and she was away for a couple days to practice for her race 
can we talk about how cool that is? How cool Bagheera is for being like, like, like a, you know. She is so cool. Like, I didn't even like know that about her. Yeah, she is so cool. What do you think about the new members not having eggs? Because I think it could be a big weapon to go against the Federation. Um, I don't know. I think it's good that the new members don't have eggs. Um, yeah, they don't have any, like, thing holding them back. But once they get to know the eggs, you know. What are we talking about? Um... Bagheera is, uh, uh, she does, like, car races. I don't know what they're called. I think Tina says she'd be happier being an aunt. Yeah. But I also think Tina was, like, also talking about, like, in real life. <laughs> Hands on my shoulders. <clears throat> like, look. Look how cool she is. This is Bagheera doing the shoot for before her race. She is so cool. She is so cool. I love women so true. Like, look at this. She is so cool. Oops. Yeah. Um, that's her friend that was on her stream the other day. She is so cool. Like, I remember um one of the first photos I ever saw of Bagheera was like one of the shoots for one of the, her races. And like, man, I was like, God, Bagheera is so cool. <laughs> cool, alright, thank you. Yeah. Bum, 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 bum. Bagheera is so cool. And she's so funny and so nice and so awesome. She's everything. She's literally everything. Yeah, she's literally everything. I love her so much. <laughs> Top of warping away from Kukurucho. I thought that was funny. And then when he landed, he just like started panicking. <laughs> Mm. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Ed is really cool. Ed is awesome. Asking a lot of questions and not very trusting. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Ed is awesome. And Iron Mask to spend time together because the chaotic energy would be insane. That would be really fun.
I told Jaden and Foolish talking yesterday it was fun. That was a really fun time. I... Sorry. I got excited because I remembered. I need Etoile and Foolish to play Valorant together so badly. I need Etoile to be KO and constantly flash Foolish. I need it. I need it. I need it. I think it would be so fun. Literally, literally, Etoile would be the most, like, like the me a menace of a pocket KO. That would be so funny. Like, if they play, like, an unrated, you know? <laughs> that would be funny. But I've never seen Etoile play an FPS game before. Also, QSMP Smash Tournament. That would be so fun. <laughs> Etoile would totally own, but... That would be so fun. Because, like, I feel like Smash is, like, a game that's still fun even if you, like, key Smash. A Mario Kart tournament would be fun, too. I just need, like, like, I just want, you know. <laughs> it's all telling foolish you're rich, get a Switch, buy 10 Switches. Um, I just think, I think it would be fun if... For they excuse one week, right? QSMP, one week, excused from egg tests if eggs are still there. And just had a variety week. You know what I mean? I think that would be so fun to have just like, like, it doesn't have to even be like a week long, but just like a variety, you know? Where, like, different members play different games together, you know? Like, there's Valorant, uh, Mario Party, Mario Kart, um, Jackbox would be fun. There's, like, Smash, you know? Um, 2v2v2, 2v2 Tuesdays would be fun, QSMP edition. That would be fun. Garctic Phone could be fun. What's another one? Oh my gosh! Golf with your friends <laughs> would be fun. Golf with your friends would be fun. Um, they already doing Among Us, but they I hope they do Goose Goose Duck. Because Goose Goose Duck is just like, I don't know. I really like watching Goose Goose Duck. Um, wait, what else? There's so many other games. I saw Max and Bagheera playing the bunny game. It was so, they were so funny. USMP Risk. Ooh, that would be really funny. Um, Gang Beast would be funny. <laughs> Q's and P Geoguesser would be interesting. I would honestly, it would be kind of funny for them to play Geoguesser, you know. They can do, um, team comps. <clears throat> um, I don't think so. Um, because every single time they said that there was a QSMP Among Us, it never happened. But I know Quackity did play QSMP with, like, other people. And some of them happen to be QSMP members. Like, Rivers was playing um, Among Us with, like, Royer and Quackity and a bunch of other people the other day. But Rivers wasn't a QSMP member at the time. Anton is really good at GeoGuessr. Et al. too. I know Pole is also pretty good, isn't he? The Americans would have the disadvantage in GeoGuessr. True. But we have Foolish... We have Foolish and his <laughs> and his somehow lucky guesses and vibes. Tina with Southeast Asia. So, <laughs> there's something. <laughs> God, that would be so funny. He's so lucky for absolutely no reason. I mean, he did say, like... When he was talking about, like, um, the the Thailand guests during 2v Tuesdays, right? 
I don't know, people were clowning on him for his, like, recognition of the dirt, but that was a real thing. That was a real, that was a really good vibe check from Foolish. And, like, the, the dirt meta. <clears throat> what do you think of video essays? I've never, I've never watched one. Mm -mm. I don't think I've ever watched the video essay. Selva is really good at GeoGuessr 2. Yep, why do I not believe it? Is Selva actually good at GeoGuessr? I know Wilbur did some GeoGuessr. To be fair, I don't think Wilbur... Wilbur is good at GeoGuessr. But, like, I think Etoile and Antoine are, like, GeoGuessr nerds. <laughs> Slash pause. Etoile versus Selba and GeoGuessr 1v1. I've never seen... I've never seen Selba play GeoGuessr. Now I kind of want to see... Wilbur's awesome at Geo. I've watched uh, Wilbur play Geo. Um, but I don't know how much he's been playing recently. There's like a bunch of new metas and like different coverage. But is he even a QSMP member at this point? Oh god. I've never, I've never actually seen Antoine or a 12 play Geo Guesser. Selba and Geography in the same sentence. Um, I'll have you know, I've done two 5Ks ever in my life. Yep. I got two 5Ks. In GeoGuessr. <laughs> if you guys don't know what a 5k is, that means I found the exact location. Um, like, because of, uh, if you got the exact location, the perfect location, I think within 10 miles or something, 5 to 10 miles or something, um, you get 5,000 points. I won't tell you how long it took me, <laughs> but I have had two 5Ks that I did on my own. <laughs> no, I'm bad at you, guess there. Like, I'm bad. I'm so bad to the point that I canceled my GeoGuessr subscription. <laughs> I'm like, no more. <laughs> and I stopped. Though I think it would be kind of fun to, if I learned it again. I think at my peak, at my peak knowledge of GeoGuessr, and if my luck was good enough, I think my highest score I ever gotten on my own was like 22, 23k. I think. I don't actually know. Ba ba ba. Jorts? It's jort storm time, everybody. <laughs> what the position of the clouds? Nah, it's more is more to the meta than that. When my streamer was a GeoGuessr artist, that was a time for sure. George. Oh, hold on. 
Here we go. This just in. We're it receiving muted. reports that Sorry, a new chat. fad is taking the nation by storm. Its name? Shorts. Shorts. But it appears as if this breakthrough in jean shorts splicing technology is causing irregular weather patterns all across the globe. Hey! It's the warmer season, so I can't wear jeans. I really like the denim, but not the length of the seam. My mom dresses cash and my dad likes to preen. I'm not like either of them. I got the recessive gene. Short storm, short storm's coming tonight. A short storm, it's a cat. But all my jeans are shorts. shorts. Charlie actually has such a nice voice. Some of the notes he hits sounds really good. I know, right? I love the dino dancing emote. I don't know, it's just so good. GG's. Good song. Good soup. Mm-mm. Burn it now. 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 No, 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 Na, na, na. Mm -mm -mm. Dino syncing with the song. The dino is awesome. I think that's like one of the best emotes that Twitch has ever added. <laughs> ba na 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 now. Be do 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what is this? What is this tweet? <laughs> oh, what? Uh, 
Uh -uh. This is so funny. I saw that. I know, I know someone said it in chat. Someone told me. But I didn't want to believe it. Oh my god, is, is Dorito-kun? No, is Dorito-kun? Feels a senpai. <laughs> Feels a senpai. <laughs> oh god. I can already see the... See, see the scene in my head. I can already hear it. Oh god. Oh lord. Lord have mercy. I swear one of the- I want one of these to end up in the museum. Please. Please. If there is- If- <laughs> If there is any- Any QSMP admins anywhere who sees this, hears me, please, I beg of you. I beg of you. I do not ask for much. I do not ask for much. But please, I just want one of these to end up in the museum. Please. <laughs> I think it would be really funny. Uh, that would be awesome. That would be so awesome. I do not ask for much. There's more. Did he like more? I'm going into Phil's likes. I hope you don't mind, Mr. Phil's of Minecraft. But I must know, how many others have you seen? <laughs> Change his skin to be very sus. That one's cool. Aw, there's cool fan art. Phil has liked a lot of art. <clears throat> Bills us and by <laughs> please notice me. <laughs> <laughs> That is so terrible. That is so terrible. Uh -huh. mm -mm -mm -mm. And make it a tacit visit the museum. <laughs> <He's such> a... <laughs> How could I not notice you? <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> oh god, this is so terrible. Guys, don't feel this energy. Don't feel this energy. <laughs> I'm gonna lose my mind. <clears throat> Apparently, um, heard of the hypothetical pizza song? There's a hypothetical pizza? What does that even mean? Phelps Phelps has a song. Phelps has a song. It's a meme song. Ah. Oh. Wait, have you guys seen this? I thought this was really cool. Oh, my PC's having one of those. <laughs> this is so cool. Oh, 
Fudge magic! <laughs> Bad boy cast fun magic. Rolled eight. I wonder what the binary says. Oh, there's two codes. Forever flexes the hell out. <laughs> the foes are speechless. so cool. This is so cool. Uh, chat, my dad's going to Costco. Can you buy... <laughs> Epic. Can you buy us something, please? What do you guys want from Costco? Hello. Trauma Trio, my beloves. With Etoile, because um, he attacks moves would be badass. I think Etoile, an animation of, like, a fighting animation with, like, Etoile and the code would be so cool. Costco muffins are unmatched. I've never had muffins from Costco. Pizza? My dad is buying Costco pizza. <clears throat> Costco hot dog. I've heard that Costco hot dogs are good, but I have never had it because I don't like hot dogs. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Maybe it's just a me thing. <clears throat> also, chat, I hope it's okay if I run the hour two ads. I'm a little bit late to them, but I hope it's okay if I play the hour two ads. Did I play the hour two ads yet? I don't remember if I did. Did I, did I do hour two ads yet? I can't remember. Did I? Can someone tell me? I don't think so. I can't remember if I had. No? Play it anyway? Okay. I hope it's okay if I run the hour two ads. Ads are a free way to support me. So if you guys would like, watch the ads. Let me know what ads you guys get. Bam. Um. So now you guys can hear about my unpopular food opinions. I feel like I don't have that many unpopular food opinions. I know a lot of people talk about like IKEA like meatballs or something and how they're like awesome. I've never liked them either. But I got food poisoning when I had them <laughs> when I was younger. So now I'm like traumatized. And now like whenever I'm like around like the IKEA food court, I'm just like, Bleh. you know what I mean? I like chocolate with cheese. Interesting. I like cheesecake. Should I try them again? They did you dirty when you were a child? Yeah. Should I try them again one day?
I love how Cheyenne is like, I want my dad. Yeah. Let me like put another art on the screen. I should be working on this one, but I don't feel like drawing. I genuinely thought I was going to draw. Did you guys, did I show you guys this art? <laughs> I realized how purple it was. Maybe it's a little bit too purple for me. But this was a fun day. Mm -mm. Artist doesn't want to art. I've been in like such an art, like, um, I don't know, like, I get bursts of motivation to get art, re to do art recently. But, no, like, you know. <laughs> Had him blasted was so funny, I didn't realize he's been yoinked away. <laughs> OMG, bad. Bad was so funny during this. He just, like, pretended to be AFK, and, like, Foolish and Palm were just, like, hanging out. I don't know, I thought it was so fun. Um, there was a moment where Bad was, um, AFK, and you know how Bad, like, AFK is for, like, a long time? So, Foolish and Palm were just, like, being silly, right? Um, and so, at some point or another, they decided to lasso, um, Bad, right? They decided to lasso Bad, and, um, just started dragging him around everywhere. Um... And then Palm took out her um, little, I forgot what these are called, but like her little like uh, flying mob um, and started like riding around to drag um, uh, bad um, up and over to places. But then Foolish got the idea to do like what the capybaras did. So Palm lassoed Foolish and Foolish lassoed bad. And, um, yeah, so then, so then Palm could, like, ride her little mob and, like, fly them around. And so she was, like, flying them around the Titan and stuff. But then, uh, Forever and Selbit wanted to meet them at Favela. And so they, but they were already trying to fly up to, like, the sky limit. And they were, like, 14, was it, was it? What was it? It was 14,000 blocks in the air. Was it 14,000 blocks? It was 14,000 blocks in the air. And so... And so... They decided to go from the Titan... 14,000 blocks in the air... Towards Favela. Um... Was it 1,400? Why do I feel like 1,400 is not that much? I don't know. But either way, it was really funny. Yeah. Are you going to do a QSMP tubbo? I do kind of want to change my tubbo design to fit more QSMP. Too late? My dad said it's too late. Aww. Mom. <laughs> Mom told me too late, Sag. <sighs> 14k would be a lot that's true now when i think about it 14k would be a lot a lot 1400 sounds more reasonable how <laughs> priceless the last moment with tubbo is that was so funny it's too late guys it's too late to get anything from costco oh don't contribute to the cult um that's for when i play cult of the lamb Mm-mm. Chat, I've actually been looking at games to maybe play, uh, either, like, by myself or online. And I know that, um, what was it? Celibate was talking about it and talking about his favorite games. How do I go to my wish list? Here we go. Yeah, you shouldn't be able to redeem it. But 
Selbit said that his favorite game is Outer Wilds, right? His favorite game is Outer Wilds. I don't want anybody to spoil it, but has anybody ever played it? Has anyone here ever played Outer Wilds? I plan to play Tunic. It sounds sick. I have it in my wish list. The art looks so cute. The art looks so cute. Of course it would be Outer Wilds. I love the soundtrack. It looks interesting. There's overwhelmingly positive reviews. And when I went to go check the reviews, no one really said anything about the story. And I think Selbit also didn't say anything about the story either. Um, but don't spoil it. Oh, no, I don't know anything about it. And also, if anybody has played it, don't spoil it either. But did you guys enjoy the game? The soundtrack is aesthetic. You should play without knowing anything. Yeah, exactly. I feel like I feel like I like that in a game where I don't know anything about it. You know? It's so good, is it? Cuz like recently I've been wanting to play a game. Um cuz and that's rare. I don't ever play games. Selba said it can be easily spoiled, I think, so to play it blind. Yeah. I, I, have, I have never heard anything about Outer Wilds. Blind gameplays are the best, but we don't have a lot of those right now. Yeah. So I have never heard anything about Outer Wilds. So <laughs> maybe I should play it quickly <laughs> before I possibly could get um, spoiled. Thank you so much for the 10 bits. Thank you. Fantastic drawings. Thank you so much. Thank you. Jaden needs to drop the Hatsune Miku playlist because it's a literal banger. True. But yeah, I think those were the two games that I noted from when Selbit was talking about video games the other day. Um, He said that he talked about Outer Wilds and Tunic. <clears throat> Outer Wild stream speedrun stream should I play it on stream the thing is is that I don't know if I want to play it on stream because I know other people want to play it maybe I'll play Tunic on stream Tunic looks so cute <laughs> sorry I had steam open um, but Tunic looks so cute It's just like Selva was saying, it's a game about not knowing anything and wanting to know more. Ooh, that is interesting. Um, it, Tunic is the game where um, they have their own fictional language and you have to and like you learn the fictional language to be able to um, play the game more, right? <clears throat> But then and then and I got the emote. Let's go. Don't watch it if you plan on playing it at the start or something. And if someone comes in later, you can just put a text on stream, I guess. We could put a pinned message. Or I could put it in the title. But to be fair, who reads titles? Like, I, I feel like not a lot of people read titles of streams. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Uh, Andy's Apple Farm is a good game. What is that about? Only if you've never played it, haven't watched and like horror. Oh, I see. I don't play too much horror games. I feel like I'm very skittish. Um, I'm very similar. I like, I think I like watching people play horror games. But I don't like playing them myself. <laughs> is is that does that make sense? 
like I wa I love watching other people play horror games. Like I got so excited when Foolish got in convinced to play a horror game, right? <laughs> right? So like I got so excited when Foolish was going to play a horror game because I absolutely loved watching him play the closing shift, right? Um, but I hate playing it by myself. You still gotta play a horror game that chat picks? Did we reach that goal? I don't remember if we reached that goal. Did we reach that goal? How do you display your iPad screen on PC? I use Reflector. But Minecraft is a horror game when a creeper jump scares foolish and blows his titan up. Oh, Minecraft is... Minecraft is everything. Minecraft is every game all at once. Mm -mm. Pretty sure, yeah. Oh, gosh. I I guess I should make the form for that. I don't I, I don't remember. <laughs> Maybe I forgot. <laughs> Did you see the animation of Romero Rishes? Is that the one with the Derivicat song? I actually haven't seen it yet. Yeah, and I, I kind of already played a scary, a spooky game with Justin. <laughs> it was a game that I didn't think was spooky, but it was actually really scary. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Okay, sure, I'll pull it up. What's it called? Intruder. Okay, pardon my PC. It's running really slow right now. I love your art style. Thank you so much. Um, is it the first one? Is it this one? Yes. <clears throat> Let's go. It's a Derivicat song, Jump. right? So if it's a Derivicat song, I don't need to mute the VOD. Oh, this art style is fun. What is this quality? Huh? Sorry. There's terror you've hidden deep within your abyss. Between whispers and shadows, smothered by. Oh, rip, rip van and rip go. Oh, the two turtles. Uh. The server, okay, sorry, but the server, like, doing, like, the update thing and, like, taking away, like, all the mobs made me really sad, I won't lie. Your sins, don't you find it alluring to seek the unknown? Isn't it easier to let it go? You'll be chilled to the core and cut to the bone, but never alone, surrounded by nightmares. The strings pulled by my hands, your dreams at my command, secrets you
Wow, that was so cool! That was genuinely so cool. Maybe, okay, maybe I'm biased and like I'm a graphic designer, but the the part with like the text and stuff was so cool. Mm -mm -mm. How do you stream your iPad such for create? I use reflector to reflect it onto my screen and then I window capture it. Will you be streaming next weekend? I don't normally stream on weekends, actually. I rarely stream on weekends because I'm very, I'm a busy bee on weekends. So. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Perhaps Monday, maybe. Minecraft anime is better. <laughs> I mean, passion projects have like some kind of like different level, you know? Like, I don't. I wouldn't want to um, compare different, you know, artists and stuff, but like art that is made out of passion over art. Is always there's something about it that just gives it a little bit more character in comparison to art that was made just to make it, you know, or like being told to do something and then you have to make something, you know. But now, I don't know if any of the words I said made any sense. So here's the thing. There's there's two different sides. Like Rom Romero or Charleston is like a different person. It's like a is like a another side of Rosharlison that isn't the Rosharlison that we normally see. You know. I genuinely don't know too much of Rosharlison's lore. So ba 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 ra da ba 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 ra da uh 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 ba ba uh uh ding ding Is another entity completely? I see. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. 
something takes over when he sleeps interesting i don't know i love that the eggs have their own lore i think that's fun <clears throat> bow 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 Bum, bum. Mm. Bum, bum. His RP with every parent is always fun. Yeah. For me, Rishis is like a dragon with two heads. One is Rishis and the other is Romero. Like he had commented about being a sea dragon. Ooh. It told Selbin forever that it doesn't care about keeping Rishalison's body safe. <gasps> Let's see, what other art can I show you guys? I, I haven't made that many art. Actually. <clears throat> I made this when Foolish was trying to sing along to Rap God. <laughs> that was such a fun day. I don't know. Just like Foolish and Leo showing each other music. That was fun. Do you know which capybaras are played by which egg? No. Well, all we know is that Elisangela is most likely Richarlison. But I think the other cappies are played by... um like extra characters uh, I know Senora Neji play is played by Senora Neji and Mr. Mustard are played by the are played on the same account Hello Romero Rishis takes over Rishis while he sleeps. Romero hurts Rishis while he paints. I imagine it as he is fighting Rishis, trying to stop Romero. But every time it happens, there's always bloodstains everywhere in the room. Ooh. I thought Mr. Mustard is 01. No, Mr. Mustard is 011. Uh, Pozolito is played um by 10. QSP 10. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm -mm. Uh, Lisa, thank you so much for the tier one. Thank you. Thank you so much for the sub. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. So much. Can Senora speak Portuguese? I don't think so. I think Senora, Senora Neji can main can only speak English. Hello, I have arrived. Hello. Welcome. Oh yeah, I started on this art chat. I wanted this art to be the girls and foolish. <laughs> Senor can also speak Spanish? I don't think so. But yeah. Foolish, Leo. This is going to be Tina. This is Iron Mouse. And I was going to draw Jaden over here. So this is a whip that I'm going to work on. Maybe. I pause. Literally, chat. I pause this piece. I pause that piece to draw this piece. The meme piece with the VTubers. <laughs> I put that art on hold so that I can draw this first. What about Nikki? Um, Nikki is going to make a place near um, Tallulah. So she isn't living in the neighborhood. Worthy cause. <laughs> I'm drawing the meme VTubers before I draw the cute art. Which is, I think it's kind of fair in a way that the girls neighborhood hasn't been made yet so that's that's my excuse <laughs> how did you stream to have something to listen to while i work on my ray and leo art let's go 
the new VTuber neighborhood. I, Foolish, was talking about how he might consider being a VTuber. And I think that would be really funny. Mm -mm -mm. She doesn't know about the neighborhood. That is true. Uh -huh. mm -mm -mm. We did talk about it, Megan. Foolish VTuber is something I need. I, I know a lot of people were all like, no, no, foolish. Don't do VTuber. Like, just keep the camera, etc., etc. But... I think it would be really fun to have one day. I want him to just try it for one day. Like, he was talking about it because he was playing as a VTuber um, yesterday for uh, in the video game. But I think it would be really funny if Foolish had a VTuber. I might have seen that Foolish won't let anyone build around him but the girlies. Yeah. I definitely miss his silly face, but god, do I need to be a VTuber for at least a day? Do you know what I want, chat? This might be something that will never ever happen. But... It, it would feel so weird, too. I feel like. But there's something that I want to happen. Yeah, I was about to say that, Shylin. I want Foolish to just randomly, one day, no face cam. <laughs> I think that would be so interesting. Just, just one day, Foolish, no face cam, right? And then, some kind of serious lore. <gasps> that would be interesting. That would be so interesting. A no face cam QSMP stream. It would go kind of crazy. Here comes your manifesting powers. <laughs> okay, but right now, all of my manifesting power right now is that I want... I want, um... The... The Misa... Misa fills us senpai art to be in the museum. That's where my manifestation powers is going to. I just want one of those art in the museum, okay? That's it. Um... But... I think, I think it would be, I think it would go so crazy. Wouldn't it go so crazy if there was a no face cam, foolish, serious QSMP lore stream? Wouldn't that go crazy? You guys can't tell me that it wouldn't go crazy. I literally couldn't imagine foolish streams without the face cam. I remember when his face cam bugged and disappeared and I was jump scared. Yeah, I remember I was watching it and I was like, man, it does feel so weird that foolish doesn't have his face cam on. I'm here with the foolish apologist. True. Imagine hearing his... Kubito do all those menacing one-liners and giggles, but without his face in the corner, such a different vibe. It would be a different vibe. Maybe he could handle be serious for too much. It's okay. Most lore doesn't last too long. Anyway, right? It makes it makes you pay more attention to his actions and words, to be honest. That's true. <laughs> Mm -mm -mm. early stream do you know what's so funny he is so on time i have to leave in 10 minutes so <laughs> he is so on time what what a, what a great what a great guy we summoned him he was all like you guys talking about no face cam that's never gonna happen punches us out of the way <laughs> he he literally came in to like deny <laughs> To deny all of the, the stuff that we want. Boo. Boo. I'm telling you, Foolish is giggling without his face cam would make him seem so unhinged. Ugh. But that's, like, you guys don't know how often, you guys don't know how often I have been, like, imagining it. I've been 
I've been like imagining like scenarios where Foolish does like a no face cam stream, right? And does like some kind of like serious lore. Like that would go crazy. <laughs> like I don't want to force anybody to do it. But, but I love, <laughs> I think it's funny whenever Foolish says but. He goes like, but, you know. <laughs> Mm hmm. Yes, I've drawn Vahedda before. I think that's what your message says. But I have drawn Vahedda before. I've drawn him kind of recently, haven't I? Hmm. Um. <laughs> my most recent Vahedda art is him as being the Night Wolf. <laughs> so. This is one that I really liked drawing. And then this is another that I really enjoy drawing. This is a Princess Mononoke um, reference to it. The Winder Washer laugh. <laughs> no face cam. Hey, that would go kind of crazy also. I do sometimes enjoy watching Foolish from another POV and I just imagine the faces he makes. <laughs> Blushed. Yeah, I drew these two pieces back to back. Um, here's another Vahedda that I drew. This was just a, this was just like facial practice, um, kind of. But then I ended up drawing this. Foolish from other POVs is such a foreign experience. It's always funky to me. I won't lie, I kind of miss offline um, Foolish on the server when I watch, like, when Vahede used to play often. Like, I don't know. Those kind of hit different. I think it's kind of silly. Fula had an OG family drawing. Oh, which one? This will still be one of my favorite arts I've ever made. Like, I just think it's so funny. I was laughing so hard drawing this. <laughs> it was, <laughs> it was, <laughs> this art is probably one of my top favorites. Just because it's so funny. And out of all of my art, this is the art that got a foolish notice. Did you guys know that? Like, <laughs> out of all of the art I have ever made, this is the one that Foolish liked for me. <laughs> it, it's so terrible. Your art is Knuff. We're all Knuff, guys. That day was so fun. That was so funny. Foolish is trying his best to get on the server. <clears throat> he is so silly, bro. He is the silliest of the sillies. Oh wait, this is cute. Foolish liked this pose from Pack where he met up with Forever. That is so cute. <laughs> um, he saw a loaf of breads, art, right, which is epic. And see, look, he liked this, bro. Like he doesn't like arts too often. This one's a, such a good art. This one, this one, this one's really funny. Like if you saw this art. You would not believe this art is in reference of these two, these two people, one crouching, walking in like silence while the other is like beating him with a fish for like three hours. Like this art is so awesome, but knowing the story is crazy. <laughs> the great battle of wills. <laughs> The Great Battle of Wills. But yeah, this is an art that he liked for me, and that's crazy. That's crazy. Out of all of my art I've drawn for him. Slash J, slash J, slash Lighthearted. The most epic battle on the server yet? Oh yeah. Like, you think, you think that Etol's eight, eight fights against the code can compare to the great battle of wills. <laughs> the great battle of wills had so many witnesses. Who witnessed 
at all's fight against the code. Nobody but him and the code. But the great battle of wills will always go down in history. <laughs> the drama. All the drama within the great battle of wills. <laughs> if Etel wants to impress me, he better get a fish out next time the code shows up. <laughs> Why is that so funny? Why is that so funny? <laughs> uh, Leo understanding her father without him saying anything. Exactly. <clears throat> Leo gets it. Oh, that is so funny. That's awesome. <clears throat> oh, this is one of my favorite doodles of Vegeta. Is there something about it that I really like? Bom bom bom. At twelve, fighting two codes at the same time. Nah, fish slapping. <laughs> <clears throat> God, there's always so many funny moments. Funny, silly moments. <clears throat> this art made it into the museum. I'm still- it still makes me happy that Selvit saw this. <laughs> and Selvit's reaction just made me so happy when he saw this. <laughs> the lines look spicy? What does that mean? <laughs> the Great Battle of, of Wills is literally when, um, immovable object meets unstoppable force. Or was it the other way around? <laughs> Same thing, really. But yeah. But yeah. <clears throat> when QCB Info is going to add the next lore part? They did have the new newspaper. I didn't read it, though. Because... Um... Never mind. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> That's my most favorite person on the QSMP. I don't even understand myself. I just love that man. True. No, no, tell us. No. I think... I think I've been hard on the QSMP global account enough. Mm -mm -mm. -na -na. Hi, I love your drawings. Thank you so much. Thank you. Excuse mm -mm -mm -mm. me, English during the slap fight was amazing. Yeah, I'm kind of. It was interesting because that is. Um, that is the day where I decided to go out, and so I'm kind of glad that I didn't miss anything. That was also the same day I went to watch the Barbie movie. <laughs> All right, chatters. Oh, chat. It's that time. <laughs> I won't lie. I was. I was going to go get lunch and then come back. But a certain shark man decided to go live. So I decided that after lunch, I'll just get to work. Yerp. That's what I've decided, chat. But I hope you guys enjoyed staying with me. Remember, mod applications are open. So if you guys do feel like you would like to be part of the team, um, mod apps are open. Um, you can uh, sign up, be there. Um, 
and have a chance to be a part of our team um but yes thank you guys so much for hanging out with me i hope you guys had as much fun as i did remember that you guys are loved you guys are cared for it and you guys are worth every single second um hold on we're gonna raid somebody before i finish my uh ending speech but i hope you guys enjoyed the stream remember to follow follow turn on notifications to be notified when i stream next um follow all of my socials there that's where i'll be when i'm not streaming also join the discord i let the discord know before anywhere else when i feel like streaming let's see who shall we raid today uh, uh, ew. here Dan it now, banana, no, 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 yeah i'm gonna raid lilith loves ya they are a bad boy halo mod they are very sweet i think they're playing on munchie mc right now so uh join the raid join the raid um you get free channel points when you join the raid um but yeah thank you guys so much for hanging out with me i hope you guys have a wonderful day remember to take care of yourselves to stay hydrated eat food and get lots of rest and remember um to be kind all right Remember to be kind to each other. Um, spread more positivity. The world could really use it. Um, thank you guys so much for always hanging out with me no matter the time. I always have such a fun time hanging out with you. Um, so sorry for not that many streams this week. Um, I'm going to try and fix my schedule next week, but I'm not too sure. Um, I used to take breaks on Thursday, but I think I'm going to take my breaks on Wednesday now. So I think, I think it's good. I stream Monday, Tuesday, then Thursday, Friday. I think those are good days to stream. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to change it to. And I might do 10 a.m. streams more often, but we'll see. We'll see. Who knows what I'll do? But yeah, anyways, bye everybody. Take care. Be kind in Lilith's chat. Um, thank you mods again. Um, and yeah, goodbye everybody. Thanks for hanging. Goodbye. Take care. Goodbye.